Okay, so when we look at using our BVM, bag valve mass, this is where now we're taking over ventilation of the patient. Remember that ventilation is movement of air. So when we look at our breathing, the big question that we're asking is, is it adequate? When we're looking at adequate, we're talking about to sustain life. So if somebody's breathing, you know, way too fast, they're tachypnic, if they're breathing, you know, they're hypoventilating, you know, they're breathing four, you know, two, four, six times a minute, eight times a minute, it's inadequate. They're not gonna be able to get the exchange that they need. So now we need to come in and we may have to intervene and we're gonna use our BVM. So what I'm gonna show you is how to assemble the BVM and then we'll show you how it delivers oxygen. Um, again, part of your uh, CPR testing in the beginning is now showing that you know how to assemble this and get this to deliver oxygen. So we'll show you how to assemble it and then what we'll do is we'll show you how we'll use this to actually ventilate the patient. So when we look at the parts of the BVM, right, we have our O2 tubing, we have our mask, and then we have our, our shell here. This would come packaged, again, one-time use. So now when we go to, to open this, we want to be gentle. And now what we do is we extend it. So we see that we have our shell. We have our universal port. So the one thing, you know, when we look at all of our manufacturers, uh, you know, uh, any type of device that we use, every manufacturer is going to do something a little bit different. The one thing that everybody does the same is for our oxygen, um, all of our delivery devices. So all of these ports are universal 15, 22 millimeter adapters. So on the when we look at the inside, the internal diameter is 15 millimeters, the outside is 22, which means no matter which manufacturer creates this, it is interchangeable with any of our endotracheal tubes, our superglottic tubes, our, our BVMs, all of these now have to be universal so we don't have any issues, you know, when we're managing somebody's airway and ventilating them, that we have, uh, you know, things that aren't compatible, okay? So it's the only thing that they've, they've come to an agreement on. This part here is our reservoir bag. This is going to be where our O2 tubing attaches and it's going to fill this reservoir bag. We're going to watch this inflate, okay? This is where now we're going to squeeze the bag. When we deliver, we want to deliver a ventilation. And this is going to be this one-way valve. So now the oxygenate uh, reservoir bag is going to deliver oxygen through the bag and now it's going to be delivered through our mask when we attach this. This little port here, so now when the patient uh, exhales, so when we attach this little mask, this now attaches, like we said, you know, universally, so it sits, forms a nice seal. When we squeeze the bag, it's gonna deliver that oxygen with ventilation, so we're gonna help be able to move air, ventilation, move air down into the alveoli, okay? This little port here spins. And for some reason, a lot of people don't know this. So all of a sudden, you're going to, to ventilate your patient, and they just came from the garlic and onion buffet. And so now as you're ventilating them, and that's, you know, this is going to allow for the off-gassing of that CO2 and their exhaled, you know, breath. All of a sudden, now your eyes are burning and, and, and tearing up. You turn this. And generally, you turn this towards your partner. All right? So now when you do this, this is now not blowing back in your face. So you know, same as if you took your, your car to a mechanic, you would expect them to know how to use their tools. If you're going to use these devices to save somebody's life, you should definitely know the limitations, you know, and, you know, what, what the capabilities of these pieces of equipment are. Every time that you have this device, it's going to come packaged, it's going to come with a manual. Read your manuals. Know what you're able to do, know what your limitations are so that you know how to use this device appropriately. All right. When we look at this mask, okay, so this mask, it has a little thumb shelf. So when we talk about a CE clamp, this is where my thumb goes. This is where my fingers go. I don't want to, to come in contact with the mask itself because the mask, if I break the seal, we're, we're not going to be able to get a, a good, good fitting mask seal and that's going to cause a leak. So we're not going to be able to get the same amount of ventilation and oxygenation to the patient. We spread this open and we walk it down and I'll show you how to do this on the mannequin. And so now this sits in place and we're able now to get a good mask seal. So this is now connected to our, our BVM, our O2 tubing. So again, it's going to go to the inlet here, and the other end goes to our O2 device. Okay, so we've already done our, our airway assessment. We've opened the airway with the head tilt chin lift. We've checked for patency, 
determined if we needed to suction. We've secured with our, our OPA, and now we've determined that you know our patient is breathing inadequately, and so now we're gonna come in and we're gonna assist with ventilation. So we're gonna use our BVM for that positive pressure ventilation. This is where we take our mask, we wanna kinda of open it, and this is where now we're gonna start the bridge of the nose and walk it down. So once we have this in place, by doing that, we're going to make sure that we have a good mass seal so we don't have any leaks. Now the mannequin is plastic, but for you know uh, humans, we're malleable. So that skin, if we were having trouble, I could kind of take that skin to pull it up into one side to help get a good mass seal with this. So once we've got this in play, like we've talked about, so that goes into that universal, 15, 22 millimeter adapter, we walk it down the patient, and this is where now that CE clamp, so my thumb goes on that thumb shelf right here. Here's the C. This is the only pressure downward we're not trying to, if I were to come in and I were to smush something against your face, that wouldn't feel very good. This is the only downward pressure. So we walk it down, we, a little bit of downward pressure, and now the majority is with that E, we're pulling this jaw up to meet the mask. So now that we're in a good position, now what we do is we deliver a ventilation. And now what you can see is, my friend here doesn't have any, any thorax, so we can see these lungs. So now as we deliver this ventilation, we do so, and we calculate our, our tidal volume in the field by chest rise. So now we start to deliver, and this is attached to our high flow oxygen, and I give a breath over one second, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, breath. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, breath. So you can see, once I'm in this position, I own it. I don't move. I've got a good head tilt chin lift. I have a good mass seal. I'm getting good chest rise. I have good bag compliance. So in, in between these ventilations, now my device is delivering supplemental oxygen. And every six seconds for my adult, this is where we come in, and I deliver that ventilation, and we see good chest rise. Okay?